much fun in Switzerland, Alec. We've got mountains and snow and there's a lake. I found a little house in this tiny little town with no noisy neighbors. And I'll teach you how to swim and we can drink hot chocolate and we're just going to have a wonderful life together. And nobody bad's going to find us. We have to be careful how we approach Suzanne. I don't want anything happening to this little boy. You honestly think she's going to hurt her own grandson? She spent years, you know, manipulating this kid to keep him. So I, I, I don't put, I wouldn't put anything past her. I, I will do whatever I can to help. I appreciate that, but you know, it was my responsibility to keep this boy safe, just like it was my responsibility to keep all my kids safe. But we, we know how that works. Hey, stop! Don't we? Stop! Brenda's about to find out just how great of a father you really are. Think about what Michael's been through, all the suffering. I just, I, it doesn't make me feel very good. Michael could so, have avoided a lot of pain and suffering if Dante hadn't put his badge in front well, of protecting his brother. Really, Carly? We're, go we're going there again? I mean, I was trying to help Michael, trying to save him from the agony of a cover-up. But you'd have a problem covering for Brenda. Or lying to Sonny's face about knowing her, but damn, you wanted Michael to be honest. And you know what else? Maybe if you would have taken your own advice, Brenda's son wouldn't be missing right now. Can we, can we not do this no, right it's now? Okay, Sonny, no, it's okay, Sonny. It's okay. Not She's okay. right. I shouldn't have pushed Michael uh, to come forward, and I'll regret that for the rest of my life. But you did everything you could to make up for it. You got Michael released from Pentonville. It doesn't erase all the scars that Michael is going to carry around for the rest of his life. All righty. I'm going to go up here for a while. Oh, okay. Okay. If you're mad at me, don't take it out. I'm not mad at you, okay? I'm not mad at you at all. I know you did everything you could to protect Michael and to keep him out of prison. I'm not talking about the trial. I'm talking about us, how toxic we've been to each other. And I always kept coming back for more. How many times did we fight? I knew the marriage wasn't going to work, but because I was so hung up on wanting a, f a family and being a father, look what happened to Michael Morgan. I didn't have now. to pay Why the price. Let's talk about this right now. You weren't the only one holding on. I was there. I fought just as hard as you. Yeah. I knew we were unhealthy. I could have jumped off the roller coaster at any time, but I didn't. Yeah, but you know what? If you had been with somebody else, you'd have a much better life. You know what I mean? How can you say that? How many, how many times have you and the kids been a, a target? It was luck that Michael got to that cabin in time to stop Claudia from taking Jocelyn and leaving you for dead. But my son was only doing what I... What I taught him to do was protect his family. You can tell me you don't have any regrets? I have plenty of regrets. But not one about making you Michael's father or having Morgan. Those boys have grown up knowing they were loved and that they mattered. And that's what's important, Sonny. And that's exactly what you're gonna get, Brenda's son. It's hard to figure out which toys to take with us, isn't it? But you know what? When we get to Switzerland, I'm gonna buy you a whole bunch more. Did I tell you there's a farm nearby? No. Well, there is, with real horses. Maybe you can learn how to ride. Would you like that? Yes. All right. Oh, you're gonna learn so many things. You're gonna learn how to speak French and German, and pretty soon you're not even gonna remember what it was like before we moved to Switzerland. Which is fine by me. There's a lot here I don't want to remember either. Look, I'll do whatever it takes to protect Jocelyn. But if I think my biggest regret with Michael is putting him in the middle of our fights, you know? Making him feel like he has to fix us. Remember that time he locked us in the basement? Yeah, because we were told we were getting divorced again, and he kept us down there until we figured things out. And Michael's defense, he did provide food. Junk food. <laughs> And why? Why? Because he wanted to make us both happy. You can't get mad at the kid because, you know, he was just trying to protect his family. Mm -hmm. Things that we, he learned from us, right? That's right. Yeah, he learned a lot of things from you, many of which can jeopardize his future as a law-abiding citizen. None of us want Michael to be a part of the business. I think we've made that pretty clear. Yeah, but it doesn't care what we say. Michael's going to do what he wants. He doesn't want people telling him how to live his life. I mean, he doesn't care what it costs him. He's hanging out with Abby despite the fact she's got a murder charge hanging over her head. He's going to risk his parole for that. People do crazy things for love. <laughs> right. I know I am. I'd give anything to stop Michael from making the same mistakes. Look, well, look, Michael is an adult. He knows the consequences of his actions. Yeah. But we got to think about this little boy who doesn't, he, he, he doesn't know what's going on. He's bounced around from one house to another. He doesn't know who his parents are. 
It's got to be scary as hell. Hopefully, it'll be over soon. He'll be back with his mother. Let's hope so. They've both been through a lot. You know that we'll be landing in San Antonio soon. Do we have any idea what we're walking into? Well, Spinelli tracked Suzanne's car to a residential neighborhood near the airport. Okay, she's laying low, ready to make a quick getaway, right? Okay, any chance that we can at least entertain the thought of local authorities coming in here? They can set up roadblocks, ground flights, at least until we have Suzanne. No, we don't have time for red tape. As soon as Brenda went public, Suzanne, you know, probably feels she has no option. So she's going to leave the country on the run. Well, that's scary, because with all the contacts Suzanne has made through ASAP, she's going to have plenty of places to hide. Okay, this may be the last chance we got to stop her. We are landing in Lucerne tomorrow morning at 9.30. Can you have someone there to meet us? Thank you. Okay, sweetie, let's go. Oh, wait. Don't forget Pony. We wouldn't want him to miss our big adventure. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Any sign of Suzanne? No, but there's a kid's room up there with toys in it, and this was on the nightstand. All right, it's still cold, so they probably just call, call Spinelli. Yeah. Hey, hey, Spinelli, it's Dante. We're at the house. Suzanne is gone. Can you track her car? The jackal is, as always, one step ahead. Uh, the bald one's black widow is currently engaging the divine one's progeny in a sing-along. Uh, hold on, hold on. I'm going to put you on speakerphone, okay? Okay, go ahead. The jackal tapped into the car's internal computer and I was able to make a few minor adjustments and turn the radio into a monitoring device of sorts. So now I can hear everything Suzanne is saying. Is she headed to the airport? No, away from it. Okay, well maybe she's going to the park or a grocery store. I, I, I just checked the fridge, it's stocked. Okay, Suzanne's covering all her bases. She's going to another airport because she knows she's being followed. Okay, if she wants to make an international flight, she's got to go out of Houston. Okay, um, Spinelli. You have the uh, cars, you're, you're, you have control of the car's computer, right? Can you make it stop? With a few keystrokes, the engine theoretically could be disabled. Okay, do it and, and text me the address of where her car's at. The Black Widow's means of escape has been disabled. Are you guys sure we have the right house? The Valkyrie doubts the Jackal's... It all, it all fits, what do you mean? No, not really. That's not Lucian. If Grandma's car had to break down, it was right near a playground. We can have some fun before we get on the plane, yeah? Then, if the taxi doesn't get here soon, we'll just take a later flight. We're gonna get to Switzerland, sweetheart. Nothing's gonna stop us. Wanna go higher? You think it's a decoy? set up for us? I mean, Suzanne had to know that you were coming after me. I think it. Lucian is more the decoy. What are you talking about? Suzanne shows up at our doorstep out of the blue with a little boy named Lucian. I didn't, it didn't never rang true to me. I asked Brenda to get a, a DNA test. She didn't want to do it, right? But then she ends up agreeing. Right after that, little boy disappears. Well, Suzanne probably saw the writing on the wall. She knew she was going to be found out, so she takes her, the kid and, and disappears with her real grandson. Well, so where is he? I don't know. Maybe back with his, his parents, foster parents. I, it's a pretty I good plan know. when you think about it. Brenda spends the next however many years looking for Lucian while Suzanne's got her real grandson out to herself. Okay, one last time. Let's go see if our cab is here. Oh, wait a minute, sweetie. Come here. Let's wrap up tie your shoe. Hello, Suzanne. It's over. Well, I guess I can thank Mr. Spinelli for uh, my car trouble. How you doing, buddy? Pulled off quite the switch. Made Brenda believe that Lucian was her long lost child. Got her to love him. Invest in being a mother. That way Brenda would never suspect that you were hiding her real son. Is his name Lucian? This is my grandson, Alec. 
who you obviously love very much, otherwise you wouldn't have gone to all this trouble. There's nothing I wouldn't do to protect him. Well, I'm sure that uh, you don't want Alec to witness some things that might upset him. Like my demise? Hey, Suzanne, listen to me. Doesn't have to get to that, okay? Carly's gonna take the little boy to the car where he could be safe. He's safe with me. Don't make this harder on him than it has to be. He's just a kid. Who hasn't seen any of your violent world. An innocent kid. And I intend to keep him that way. Jason, she's my kid. We all want what's best for Alec. Right now, I think that's letting Carly take Alec to the car. Alec, this is my friend Carly. She's a really nice lady. Could you go with her for a minute while I talk to these gentlemen? Hey, is this your horse? I think he looks thirsty. Why don't we go to the car and I'll get him and you a drink? Okay, okay sweetie. Ren will be right here. Suzanne, why don't we make this easy and uh, let me just uh, take you into custody, okay? Why don't you arrest your father? He's the one who's a danger around here. Have you seen the damage he did to your brother? Suzanne, don't make this about me. You took Brenda's son long before, you know, I got back together with her. I did what was necessary to protect my grandson. There is no justification for letting a mother think that her child is dead. Oh, that's easy for you to say. You didn't grow up in Sonny's world. You don't know what the violence in his world does to a child. I should have done more to protect Alexander. I should have kept Theo from filling his head with rage and violence. He was my baby. He was my baby boy, and I couldn't save him. Suzanne, we're done, okay? Dante, can you... Okay, hey. I can save my grandson from you. Let him go. I can't do that. Put the knife down, Suzanne. Shut up. That wasn't a request. I spent my life facing down worse threats from a man who wouldn't hesitate to follow through. I don't think you have it in you, Detective. To shoot a woman who's just trying to protect her grandson? Look, this is all gonna end one way or another. I will not let you take Alec back to Brenda so she can raise him in the mob. Hey, Dante, you shoot. I'm just as good as dead. Well, in case you haven't missed this, Sonny, she's got a knife to your throat. She's going to cut you or I it's shoot her. Impossible shot. You can't possibly take her down. Oh, really? Without without hitting me. Really? Would you be saying that to Jason if he was standing here? Jason's not here. You're well, not I can Jason. make this shot if Jason can make this shot. Can. Just Don't. trust me, okay? Do it. Put the gun down. Do it. Or you're going to watch your father die. I have a daughter. Her name's Jocelyn. She's two, so she's a little young to ride horses. But both my sons took lessons for years. And they each had a horse. One was white with black spots, so we named him Domino. <laughs> Does your horse have a name? Thunder. Thunder. <laughs>